Good morning, YouTubers and RV fans. Ooh, a little bit windy out here today. So, man, we had a huge, huge storm that lasted probably two days. And um, when you're full timing in an RV, you know, getting stuck in side for two days and monsoonal rain. I mean, lower Alabama probably got five or six inches of rain. Um, fortunately, the RV park that I'm at has a, a pretty good drainage system because none of it looks like it's uh, it flooded the area, although the whole county is under um, major flash flood warnings, even still. Um, not certain exactly what uh, the weather's going to hold for the next couple days. It's sunny right now and it's beautiful out. So I'm kind of just basking in the sun to get some vitamin D because I needed to be out of the rig. Um, RV Debs and some other friends and I are going out today. We're going to go to a shelter. Um, my teaching contract's coming to an end and I'm making a decision on whether I'm going to stay here in Lower Alabama for a little while longer or whether I'm going to travel further up north. Um, Debs and I were originally going to travel together, but um, some plans with her have changed, which is great for her. And, um, you know, so I'm trying to debate at this point whether I want to stay another um, teaching contract period or if I want to go ahead and go on up north a little bit. Um, it just really is going to depend on, on uh, what, my, what my objective is at this point. Um, it's, you know, a very, very nice RV park that I'm at, and so there's really no sense in leaving um, if, I, if I don't feel the need to. Although I am getting a little bit of an itch to get back on the road. So uh, one of the areas I've been scoping out is uh, Mentone, Alabama and uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I love that tri-state area where you have Georgia, Tennessee and Alabama that all joined together. So I'm considering that as an option. Um, and I used to bring the kids to uh, camp up in Mentone, Alabama. It's beautiful up there with Lookout Mountain and that whole area. Of course, I love that part of the country. Um, I really love the, the people. Um, I love the geography. And there's lots to do up there in Chattanooga. So uh, probably we'll head up there, maybe. We'll see. I'll let you know as my travel plans become a little bit more firm. Um, the weather here in Lower Alabama right now is is still very nice, um, and I know it's a little bit chilly up north still. So I'm not really in a rush, but uh, I'll be making some decisions here shortly. So anyway, I just wanted to open up this video, and um, you know I'll be taking you along with my journeys today. All right, stay tuned. <music> We'll say hi to RV Debs and the doggies. So hang on. Hi guys. Hi guys. So how are you feeling today, Deb? We were stuck inside for two days. This is a, that's one of the things that's very hard. Uh, it's a small little space. I don't really mind it at all, except that when it's raining out there and thundering, um, Cabin fever, real bad. <laughs> yes, you do. And I'm so glad today's sunny. I know, isn't it nice? Yeah, we need this. We're gonna go out and just explore the area and stop and go. And We're gonna have uh, fun today, Deb. So I was telling my viewers about some of the changes in my travel plans. <laughs> Look at Lily; she's just she's loving on you. Fun. So. Some of those plans were predicated on some of the changes that you've made. So why don't you tell us what you're doing? Okay. Well, I'm doing, what I did is made up my decision, which is half the battle is just not knowing what day you're leaving. I know. Or what you're going to do next. And it was getting on my nerves because I kept thinking, well, all right, weigh it out. So you get a piece of paper and you put the positives and you put the negatives. And that's what I did. And I'll tell you, the positives were way outweighing the negatives. Um, why would I want to go to, I want to see Arizona, and I want to port sure, side, and I want sure. to see New Mexico. Not in 100 degrees. No, I agree. That was so a big thing we talked about. that's what I was going for, because if I went to Texas, I'd love to see my friend. Don't get me wrong, everybody. I am going to be heading west eventually. Yay. But, you know, it's summer. I've got a couple good friends here, Patrick and oh, my yeah. other friend. And we know our way around a little bit. We do. It's a beautiful area. And there's places we haven't even seen, nope. like the beaches 
It's going to get to that time when you put your shorts on and walk on the beach sunset. And we'll take you with. Um, so I just thought, you know what? Let me get involved in the area. I've been not thought, I really have been not involved. Right, right. I'm going to go and see if there's an art class. If not an art class, maybe um, some other type of class that cool. might have men and women together. Because I think it's time to enjoy life in the RV. Let me ask you this. Do you, do, you know, as YouTubers, sometimes we feel pressure from our subscribers to, you know, get on the road and get moving. Do what you say you're going to do. Right. Do what you say you're going to do. And, you know, really, this is really about our life. I mean, I document on my channel on the paddy wagon i document you know my rv life you're doc you're a daily vlogger and you document every day Pretty much almost i didn't do yesterday but uh yeah and uh even if i'm staying here right i have a lot to share i'm just going to continue my life it is a journey it is a journey it's not a race no no i'm not if, if i had family <clears throat> in desperate need of me in let's just say uh, arizona i'd go right now i sure would but I don't have to worry. Right. And you know what they say, don't don't fix what's not broken. I have, I can afford it here. Yep. The park is pretty. It might as well be anywhere in the country that you like because it, it's that nice. Well, you know, a, a lot of experienced RVers say, you know, one of the big mistakes they make in their first year on the road is rushing to get here, to get there, yeah. instead of really sitting back and enjoying the life. And you know that's what we have to do. We've got to sit back. We've got to enjoy right. the life. And stop thinking about. Well, let's get the map and route it out. How much yeah. is it going to cost? Because believe me, you could go crazy, and you do. Well, we have. That. We have the yes. last couple of months. Yes. We've gone nuts have, on this. That's all we've both been thinking is, and we're, we were both hesitant in ways, because we knew we could afford where we are, and on the road is expensive. Well, let me you ask you this. Cheap. You'll, I mean, I, I know you'll agree with me. You know, if you've got three, four hundred thousand dollars in the bank. It's a whole different yeah, ball those of game. people are lucky and they can do whatever I, they I want. Don't, I don't I have do that. Same. Yeah. I mean, you still have to manage the cash. Mm -hmm. That's it. it Bottom does, line. It does cost less to live in an RV if you find a place right. like this right. that you can afford. Your home does not cost you electric bill, water bill, telephone. You, you, you have bills, but they're not outrageous. Where I used to live, right. my little home I sold, mm -hmm. a lot of people say, are you sorry you sold your home? And I'm not. No. Because I had a water bill. In the summer in Florida, the electric bill was two fifty a month. Yep. And and don't I, forget the don't forget cable and okay, internet. Cable yeah. was one hundred and fifty a month. Yeah. With internet. Crazy. It wasn't cheap. Crazy. It never has been. So this is kind of cool that I could even if I found one that was four hundred a month. I, I know that this is really inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I'm not stupid, but I can only go so far. Right. And I don't want to boondock at this point. Maybe in the future. Yeah. And I might, if I if I get there, I'll think about it then. Well, you got to be. You know, here's the bottom line. You really have to be equipped to boondock. If you're going to boondock in a Walmart for for you know an overnight period where the goal is just to sleep. Yes. That's I fine. Could probably do but that. But you're not going to boondock in a Walmart overnight with the goal to sleep if it's 100 degrees and you don't have any air conditioning. Right. Sorry. Not me, not me I'm not, either. I'm not that kind. And another thing too, I, I know there's a, a couple of people I see and watch their videos that are out in the middle of the, the desert by themselves, ladies. Yeah. And I gotta hand it to them, because that's very cool that they're feeling that se secure, courageous, and courageous, and and brave, and all the words that go with it. Yep. I kind of like to see people. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd want to be in the middle of absolutely nobody, like I'm in another planet. Right. Um, if I had my husband. That's different than you can be in this beautiful little world with the two of you. That's right. Solo traveling is very it's different, different than travel. Well, it's different for for me too. I mean, solo traveling is a lot harder because everything is dependent on you. A hundred percent. You have nobody to talk to about it. You have nobody to share the responsibilities with. You have nobody to plan with. Plan with. You know, that's with. right. That's why it's so important to yeah, have. Yeah. A lot of people do Friends. it themselves. I mean, my okay. soul is a traveling soul. Always has been. Mine too. And probably always will be. Me too. So, whether I'm glad I have wheels under here for now. Right. Well, we got lots to do today, yeah. Deb. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank I'm glad you. I'm talking to your channel. Yeah, it's Love fun. You guys. Okay, YouTubers, we're headed out of the park. Um, we're going to Daphne. Have no freaking clue where it's Daphne is. It's not that far. Is. It's not. No. 
I'm with RV Debs, and we're hanging out today. So we're out at the um, pet supermarket and the Haven Shelter Dogs and Cats since 2000 Mobile Adoption Rescue Unit is here doing a pet adoption day um, here in Daphne. So we're going to take a look at some pets. Hi sweetie. Hi baby. Hi. Can I put you on tape? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, she's adorable. She's a little bit skittish sometimes. Um, she's just cautious at first, is all it is. She's a good dog. Come on, kid. Come on. Hi. Yes, are you a good girl? Come on. Hi, come on. Yeah, oh, you're such a sweetheart. Yes, you are. You are so adorable. Hi, you want to party down with us at the hilltop? Yeah, you want to be an RV dog? Oh my god. I like this. So, what do you think about Kit Debs? I think she's beautiful. Isn't she pretty? We made love right here. Oh. She's such a sweet little puppy. I think this should be your girl. <laughs> This is Kit. Kit is my new little girl. She's a little foxy lady. We just ado I just adopted her from the mobile adoption and rescue unit at the Haven Shelter for Dogs and Cats. And that's in Fairhope. So say hi Kit. Say hi Kit. <laughs> Typical she's gonna be camera shy. So anyway, so more videos coming on Kit. What you doing, Deb? I'm buying, uh, Lily Bell is going to come into heat again. I'm going to be prepared with panties. So we've got Kit a little bed, and I laid her down in the bed, and it seems like it works really good for her. And we got her some beneficial snacks and two little bowls. And she got a, a harness instead of that nasty collar. Okay, YouTubers and RV fans, this is Kit. Kit is a seven-year-old palm chai mix. She um, is a rescue from uh, No Kill Shelter here in um, Lower Alabama. Evidently, her history is that she lived with an older woman. I, I want to say probably quite old. Um, they didn't give me a lot of detail, but apparently she could no longer take the dog. Not. I don't know whether she passed away or whether she ended up going to a nursing home or what happened, but she's, she was at the shelter. And so today they um, had her out for adoption. She is seven years old. She's had all of her shots. She's been spay. She has been a well-kept dog. Um, she's more like a princess actually, because she loves to be held. Kit, Kit, look up, look up. There you go. She loves to be held and she seems like she's kind of like a a little spoiled princess. Um, she I don't know that she ate a lot of dog food. I think she probably had a lot of table scraps. But she's been a very good dog so far. She's found her place here on the passenger or the driver's seat. Of course, that's all going to change when we start um, traveling, so she'll have to move over. She may have to ride up here on the dash and I'll be more than happy to set something up for her here. Um, but she just seems like a real adorable addition to the paddy wagon. So welcome kids. Good to have you. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching today. 
We didn't get to do everything we wanted to do, but it was a fun day out with RV Debs and friends. Um, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.